this video I would like to explain Open Sound Control or OSC and OSC is a protocol to send data from uh, computer to computer or from device to computer over a mostly a local network. Uh, this is an example of, uh, uh, of a program called Touch OSC, which I used. This is the screen of my iPad and if I start it you see that this is kind of a DJ mixer interface. So that's the main use that how, how open sound control is used a lot. You can have a slider interface on, uh, on your mobile phone and you can control Ableton Live or the musical software or VJ applications with open sound control. And in this case, if I move a slider, you see that the data of that slider is sent to my computer. This is the data that's received by my MacBook. And I can move different sliders and you see that the pattern of the address changes a bit. So this is the kind of the setup of the open sound control uh, protocol. It uses a uh, slash and then a certain uh, yeah, variable name and then another variable name. And this is kind of the address of a parameter. So if I switch the uh, layout you can see that it's, it switches between slash 2, slash 3 and uh, this, uh, this kind of addresses are later used in the musical software to filter certain messages so to only listen to a certain message. So for example now I send fader 3 and I can do different things um, but if I say like well uh, moni monitor only a certain uh, address like fader 3 double click it here uh, it listens to this fader but it doesn't show me anything uh, of the other faders so that's how uh, software can listen to open sound control data um, open sound control data is data that uh, is communicated between uh, devices and it uses uh, the UDP protocol that's a kind of an internet protocol so it uses the IP addresses of the devices. So in this, this case I have an iPad with this IP address in my local network and I have a MacBook with this IP address in my local network. And I configured the Touch OC application to send uh, the data to the IP address of my MacBook as you can see here. Um, with OC I also have to say on which port I want to send data and ports is also used something in the internet protocol for example if you uh, visit a website with your web browser the HTTP protocol communicates mainly on port 80. Um, so in this case I selected uh, to send data on port 8000 uh, but this open sound control application can also listen on port 9000 for data. I can show you an example of that later. But here you see it sends data on port 8000 and you see that my data monitor listens to uh, incoming data on port 8000. So to show you the example over here, here you can see sent on 8000, the MacBook listens on um, 8000 um, and I program an application on in processing that sends data on 9000 and my iPad will listen to that. So I will give you a quick demonstration on that one. I close the open sound control monitor. Done. And this is uh, my processing sketch and it uses the OSC B5 library. And here I say that uh, it listens for messages uh, on port 8000, but it also says that I send uh, messages, open sound control messages to the IP address of my iPad on port 9000. Well, in the draw I display something, uh, in this case a value, so I have one variable called value and what happens is that on the moment that I click or drag with my mouse I send a open sound control message and I send it to that fader address, in this case slash 1 slash fader 3, that's the address of this uh, blue fader. Um, what it also does, it also receives data from that fader. So here it checks for this address pattern and it checks if it's a float that's received. It's not really necessary this check, but in this case it receives also the data from this fader. So if I run this program on my MacBook from processing, 
you can see that if I uh, click with my mouse, it sends data on port 9000, and you see that the uh, .oc receives that data. And the other way around, this one sends on port 8000, so my application will receive this. So that's really nice. What you can also do is to broadcast data. And broadcast means that you send uh, open sound control data to every device in your local network. So every device that starts with 192.168.1, that IP address, will receive the OSC messages. Um, so I can show you uh, that as an example. Uh, so this one sends to um, the the iPad uh, only, uh, so I can start this little other program. This is a receiver and it receives on port 9000. So you see that if I click here, the value is sent to my iPad. But what I would like to change now is I change this to a broadcast error. So I change this to 255. That means that everything, all the devices uh, receive this. And what you see happening here right now is that if I'm now going to send the data, it's received by my iPad, but it's also received by the receiver program because the OC data is also sent to my own computer, not only to the iPad. Another thing what I can do is I can say like, well, I want to keep the open sound control data only locally. And I can use a special IP address for that on the 27.0.0.1. And if I use that IP address, you will see that my open sound uh, receiver receives it normally. But because I said now send it only to my computer, you see that it doesn't do anything anymore on the TOTS OSC. So TOTS OSC doesn't receive this data anymore. So 127.0.0.1 is a local IP address. So the open sound control data stays within your computer. And this can be really useful. For example, we can make a program in processing that sends open sound control data, we can have a program like Unity that listens to open sound control data. And with that, you can yeah, do certain things with processing and uh, interact with Unity and the other way around. Okay, if you have any questions about open sound control, please let me know.